what's up YouTube, it's Fake Thriller, got another commentary for you. The gameplay on this is a little domination, not something we dabble in very often. Uh, as you guys might know, we're some search and destroy, demolition type people. Gotta plant those bombs, I hate capping flags, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, this is actually a pretty old gameplay, I just wanted to talk about a few things that uh, have popped up recently. Um, the gameplay's alright, uh, but it's mostly just uh, background um, for what I want to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about, a uh, bit of bad news, my TV is all fucked up. I guess the backlight went out on it. Um, I turn it on and I get this really rapid flicker. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's done. I hear most of the time when, when uh, stuff happens to TVs, um, these newer TVs. They're usually more expensive to fix than they are to just go out and buy a new one. Especially now. Like, back when I bought my TV, I think it was like 1300 maybe 1400 bucks. Um, and now, like, I see the same uh, sort of TVs, you know, the same specs on the TVs on the shelf for like seven or 800 bucks. So, um, that's, I, I guess, a bit of good news is that I can get, I can at least replace it for about half the price of what I paid for it. Um, the bad news with, with uh, uh, obviously, other than uh, my TV being broken, it means I can't record anymore. So, um, I mean, I guess I could record. I got this little 19-inch because uh, I use the the Hapog HD PVR, and that records through uh, HD component cables. So I gotta have a TV that can hook up component cables. Um, I have a 19-inch one that that could work, but we've all taking turns playing on that when like you know we have a little uh, house par house call of duty party and nobody likes to play on that TV but uh, you know I'll, I'll think about it uh, I, I currently have my PlayStation hooked up to my 23 inch computer monitor and I know it's only a four inch difference but four inch diagonal difference is kind of a kind of kind of makes or breaks the deal you know um, so I can still play, so I'll still be on, and uh, Snoove603 can still record, because he's got his own uh, PVR. So we're still going to be able to put out content. we got some uh, games saved on our hard drives, too, so don't worry. There's, there's no need to really panic. Just uh, only a need to feel bad for me, because my fucking TV is broken. Uh, yeah. The next thing I wanted to talk about... Um, a little bit lighter mood. I had a revelation today. Um, you ever notice that, uh, like, if you if you send a lot of text messages or like emails or something like that, you can never tell if someone's being sarcastic or trying to be funny um, or trying to be a dick or something like that. And uh, I've been saying for years that they need to come out with some sort of a sarcastic um, font, like so you know, like bold or all caps. You know, someone's yelling. Uh, um, I don't know, you put italics on one word, you can sort of emphasize a word, but I think um, I think the world itself has come up with its own way of defining when, when somebody's talking, not, not necessarily talking sarcastically, but when they want to say something and not be taken too, too seriously. And I've noticed it um, on all the forums I visit and everything, especially with Call of Duty, because I think it, I think it, it, um, stems from insecurity or something um, but it's a way a lot of people type now and what I'm talking about is let's see if we can make this official the, the new way to tell if somebody's not totally serious about what they're writing um, is if they write LOL at the beginning and LOL at the end and I mean I go on the GameFAQs forum all the time and you can't find a thread where somebody doesn't say like LOL I own on that map all the time LOL you know, like, uh, I think people are doing it, like, obviously they don't mean that they're laughing out loud while they're saying that. Like, I know the definition of LOL has sort of evolved since when it first came out back on, like, AOL, Instant Messenger and stuff, but I, I found it's a good way to actually um, get people to understand exactly how you're, how you're saying things, for the most part. Um, so... You know, hit me up with a comment. Let me know if you guys do that. Um, the, the reason I say it, like, stems from insecurity is, like, people will write LOL uh, before they, they write something that could be taken 
uh, the wrong way, so they write LOL to make you think uh, that it's uh, a, a matter of opinion or, or, or something not to be taken too seriously. Um, and they don't want to get like flamed for saying it on the, um, like on, on the boards or something like that. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you if you're guilty of the overuse of LOL, or if you do it for the purpose that I just described, um, or if you just throw it in there, for, I don't know, out of, like, you feel, I need to, uh, you feel like you might need to end a sentence a certain way. Um, uh, yeah, I'm curious to find out why people write LOL so much. And I would like to think that it's, uh, it's because they're trying to let people know that they're not totally serious, but they want to, like, let their opinion be heard. Um, I rambled on for a long time about LOL. But the last thing I want to talk about, I want to give you guys all a heads up, and I want to get your uh, thoughts on this situation that we got brewing here. Um, your boy Snoob603, he posts on a few different forums. Um, he, he hangs out on the IW forum a lot, and... Uh, this other forum called PSU.com. It's like PlayStation Universe. Because uh, they have a Call of Duty section. Yeah, I'm, I'm fast forwarding this part of the video just because uh, I'm doing some pretty hardcore camping. I think right now I'm like 19 and 0, so I don't, for whatever reason, I'm trying to go flawless, but <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Um, that's why I fast forward. It's very boring. Um, so on this PSU forum, Snoop's been telling me, like, like he posts there regularly, especially, like, we'll post, uh, like, a new thread saying our video's up. <clears throat> like, a new video's up or something, like, check it out, give us feedback, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, he, every time we post a video, he comes to me and he says, dude, there's this one motherfucker that every time I post something, he's all over my shit. Like, he always, like, rips on something on, on the video. And, uh, he, he was asking me, like, what to do, and I was like, like, because... Snoo is borderline rageaholic, um, so, and I try to be, like, friendly with everyone, you know, like, especially where this is over the internet, like, that's, that's Snoo's forte, like, he would love to light this kid up, um, but I, I'm trying to keep things diplomatic, so I told him, uh, I told him, just ignore him, and that's what he was doing for the longest time, and then finally, I guess, Snoo was posting the other day, and he... He finally uh, lost his patience. The kid was talking about like all this stupid shit, ripping on our new video, and uh, and, and then he started talking about one v one, like oh I'll one v one you or something like that. Um, the game's gonna end right now, but I'm gonna add another clip uh, that I thought was uh, at least decent, showing you how to hold down the B bomb and sub base. But so this kid starts talking about one v ones, and uh, first of all, anybody who runs around saying, oh, I'll 1v1 you, I mean, you can't, it's so hard to take that seriously, one, like, one-on-ones mean nothing, everybody knows this, but for some reason, it, it's like an endless spew of 1v1 challenges left and right, like, oh, 1v1 me, quick scoping on Rost, hardcore, uh, and you have to end your, um, you gotta, you gotta get your final kill with a 360 quick scope or no scope or something like that. I don't know. So this kid was picking, like, pick, pick, picking away at Snoo. So Snoo finally said, "You know what? Listen, I've tried to ignore you, but fuck you. I'll take your your little challenge. Uh, best of three, best of three games with no commando, no noob tubes, and no camping." And I think the kid said yes. Yeah, so. And, uh, the other thing is, is Snoo promised to record it and post the results regardless of what they end up being. So, on Sunday, I don't know what time, but Sunday night, they're supposed to meet up and have this little battle of, of the ages. So, um, get ready to check that one out because it's going to be interesting. Because either Snoo's going to fucking handle this kid and he's going to put him in his place, or Snoo's going to lose and it's going to be uncomfortable to say the least. Um, but, you know, I'm running out of time. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, my name is Fake Thriller, part of Shoosty Bang. Uh, hit us up with the comments about all the topics I talked about. Peace!